Hi, it's Dwyer. Gamblersadvisory.com, DwyerVIP.com for premium picks. Look us up in the sports section on Roku. We're there. Dwyer Boxing and Sports News. Let me also say, too, not just for me, but for everyone on YouTube making boxing videos, there is now a YouTube boxing app for Roku. I would encourage you to go to the Roku channel store and pull that up. You can watch not only these videos, but you can watch the videos for everyone on YouTube who makes them available. Right now, let's talk about a battle of unbeatens in the heavyweight division. The water couldn't be deeper. Let's jump in it. Right, I'm not, <laughs> I'm not concerned about. Um, you know, protecting a one-loss record or anything like that. Let's just go after the toughest fights and let the chips fall where they may. Arthur Spilka, 16-0, against Brian Jennings, 17-0, in a battle to stay relevant in the heavyweight division taking place this weekend. Now, sometimes, in my opinion, a fighter's strengths can become a fighter's weaknesses at the highest level. Right now, Spielka, who is a southpaw, so that's thrown off a lot of his opponents. Right, Spielka keys off of his mobility and foot speed. He has foot speed. He can move around the ring. He uses his legs for defense. He keeps his hands in place and simply moves away from an opponent, right? The problem is that that has led to some bad habits. Spielke is so good at just simply moving away from an opponent that, in my opinion, he hasn't developed the defensive game necessary to deal with a quick-handed fighter who can move with him. Right, if you can just keep up with Spielka as he moves, you're going to find that he's not good at blocking shots. Right, that he's lived off his offense, not his defense. He's not good at rolling with punches. In other words, a mobile opponent can literally neutralize. Spielka's legs. If that opponent has defensive skills to deal with, Spielka's offensive arsenal. And if that opponent can just get close to Spielka, I think unbeaten, Spielka is going to fold up like a lawn chair. There are moments in the Mike Mullo fights where he looks bad. He hits the canvas, right? I question. His survival skills. Now I know it's foolhardy to openly challenge an unbeaten fighter right before a fight where he might prove me wrong and beat an unbeaten opponent, but that's exactly what I'm doing here. I think Spielka's unauthor put it this way, unorthodox style, right, and southpaw stance and mobility has frustrated the Mike Mullows of the world. But I think Bryant Jennings is an elite fighter. I think he's a combination puncher. I think he has defensive skills. I think he has the mobility to literally get close to Spielka and to unload combinations that Spielka won't be able to block. Right? The key is Jennings has to be wary of Spielka's power because Spielka has a lot of knockouts. Right? So Jennings has to come in ready to block shots as he pursues Spielka. Right? Also, he needs to force Spielka to actually defend himself. In other words, he can't allow Spielka to clinch him, right? He has to 
vary his entry point, right? He doesn't want an opponent holding on, especially when, in my opinion, Jennings is a better chess player than Spielka, right? As long as there aren't clinches, as long as Spielka is not able to slow down Jennings' combinations, Jennings should be able to come in, block Spielka's shots, which tend to be a little wide, and get off his own. I like Jennings in this fight. I think Spielka, and I apologize if I am butchering his name, but I think Spielka is taking a huge step up in class in this fight. Right? I don't think you can look at his highlights against Mike Mullow and others and leap to the conclusion that that's how he would look against elite competition. Right? Also, let me say this too. You know, as he moves, while he can move quickly, I question his balance. As I said earlier, he got dropped by Mike Mollo in both fights, right? In both fights. So I like Jennings big here, right? I think Jennings is on the verge of big things in the heavyweight division. Keep an eye on this fight. It's taking place this weekend, and as I said before, it's a battle of unbeaten heavyweights. Around the globe, you're hearing a lot of names, right? They're all lining up to take the place of Vitaly Klitschko, who is heavily involved in politics right now. There are videos here on YouTube of him at a huge political rally that got a bit out of hand uh, in the last few days. And Vladimir Klitschko, who now is in his late 30s and might be thinking of retirement, right? Uh, unless, of course, he's a Bernard Hopkins type who wants to fight well <laughs> into his 40s. But you have names. Adlanir Solis, Tyson Fury. Those guys are on my very short list, right? Then you have, you know, Brian Jennings, um, Kubrat Pulev. Right? The heavyweight division is in flux. Chris Ariola remains to Vern. This is a big fight. Right? Because I'm guessing the winner of this fight eventually is going to collide into some of these other names. Deontay Wilder. Right? So take a good look at this fight. And as you look at this fight, I want you to look at Brian Jennings' ability to throw combinations, right? He has very fast hands. I also want you to look at his mental toughness, right? He just had a fight, I think it was against Fedosov, some name like that, where his opponent came and tried to crowd him. And Jennings, who has beaten names like Sergei Lakovic, literally stayed in the pocket, didn't panic, Right, counterpunched, then started opening up with combinations and won that fight in dramatic fashion. Right? I believe hand speed, accuracy, combination punching, these are things, quite frankly, that will help in the heavyweight division. And I believe in the Klitschko era, where we're dealing with jabs and straight right hands and left hooks, we've moved a little bit away from the kinds of combinations that a Brian Jennings can throw, right? So take a look at this fight. Take a look at Brian Jennings. It's a battle of unbeatens. I may well be here doing a post-fight video with egg on my face, but I'll take unbeaten Brian Jennings over unbeaten Ar Arthur Spielka in this one. I think Jennings has a chance at a stoppage. Right? But I'm not going to go all in on a stoppage. I'm just going to take Jennings to win the fight. Let me hear from you. Leave your comments for me here online. 
visit us at gamblersadvisory.com. Thanks for stopping by.